Welcome everyone on behalf of Lee County Sheriff Carmine Marcino and the rest of us at the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Good afternoon and welcome to our do the right thing ceremony for the month of March 2024. I'm Tony Shaw. I'm the director of the do the right thing program and whether you've joined us live here in the school board chambers or if you're watching us live right now or taped on the Lee County School District's YouTube channel. Welcome. We have a very exciting show for everyone today uh, and again we're very delighted that everyone is with us. Before we get started, however, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today that's going to be led by Tasha Diaz. Pledge of allegiance to the flag, to the United States of America, and to a public and vicious stance, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Keep a stand for a moment of silence. You may sit down. Thank you, Tasha. All right. Good job. I'd like to begin today's ceremony by acknowledging the Lee County School Board. Board Chair is Sam Fisher, representing District 1. Vice Chair is Jada Langford Fleming, representing District 6. Melissa Giovanelli represents District 2. Chris Patrika represents District 3. Debbie Jordan represents District 4. Armor Persons represents District 5. And Kathleen Morgan representing District 7. Also our superintendent, Dr. Christopher Bernier. We appreciate all you do for our Do the Right Thing program. Let's have a round of applause for the school board and Dr. Bernier. And representing Sheriff Marcino today and helping us hand out the awards and trophies is Lieutenant Sammy Gonzalez with our Youth Services Division. Lieutenant Gonzalez supervises all of our school resource officers and is in charge of keeping all of our schools and all of our kids safe. Let's have a round of applause for Lieutenant Gonzalez. And our personnel assisting with today's ceremony are wearing the black shirts in back. They are members of our civilian support unit. Mary Gary, Rich Catania, Norm Parker, John Beans, and Jeff Marnock. These volunteers set up the room for each ceremony and make sure everyone gets checked in and seated. Let's have a big thank you for Mary, Rich, Norm, John, and Jeff. Also, you can't see them because they're behind the scenes, but I want to thank Dave Alexander, Adam Wright, Adam Hodjost, and Riley Spicker with the Lee County School District. They are working the cameras, the sound, and the lighting today. They're also, as I mentioned, live streaming this ceremony on the Lee County School District's YouTube channel. Thank you, Dave, Adam, Adam, and Riley. Just a minute ago, I mentioned our school board. We're very fortunate that each month, one of our school board members joins us for our ceremony. Uh, Melissa Giovanelli represents District 2. She was first elected to the Lee County School Board in 2016 and was reelected in 2020, making her one of our longest serving school board members. She has a few words to share with this month's honorees and their parents. Let's have a warm welcome for school board member, Melissa Giovanelli. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. I just want to say something to these students. I just want to thank you for doing the right thing. Sometimes in a world it's hard to do the right thing, but you have rose above that. And sometimes it's easier to take a, a hard stand than to not do something at all. So I just want to appreciate and thank you and congratulate you today because personally this world wouldn't be a you make it a better place and just you don't realize that today but a few years from now you'll realize wow I did that and that is just um, remarkable for especially being young bright minded students so just thank you and thank you for being here family and friends because this is really important because this is our future right here you're looking at the future of Lee County I I sure hope that I can keep everyone here because this our future is bright just with these students here so thank you today 
Thank you, Melissa Giovanelli with the Lee County School Board. Thank you very much. Um, the support we receive from our business community is second to none. Now, Do the Right Thing does not use tax dollars to run the program to buy the trophies or any school board supplies that you see today. They are um, donated to us by businesses, organizations, groups that are really behind Do the Right Thing. Um, one of our chief sponsors for the Do the Right Thing program is the law firm of H Henderson, Franklin, Starnes, and Holt, and they have been with us for a while. Uh, with us today is attorney Jerry Olivo. Olivo, Mr. Olivo has been part of the Golden Apple Selection Committee for years, so he has helped honor your teachers for a job well done. Well, Mr. Olivo also likes to honor our students for a job well done. Please let's welcome Jerry Olivo. <laughs> Thank you very much and good afternoon everyone. Um, my name is Jerry Olivo and it's my pleasure today to talk uh, with each of you young students today as well as your families as you are here for a very special day to receive your awards. Um, it's our pleasure to sponsor the program and on behalf of Henderson Franklin I can't tell you how proud we are of each and every one of you for doing the right thing. It sounds like something small sometimes and it sounds like something insignificant, but nothing can be more important than what each of you has done. Your nominations are all well, uh, well deserved and you deserve and to receive this award today. And so we're very, very proud of each and every one of your actions that has led you to sit here today up on this uh, dais. Uh, to your family and, and uh, teachers, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters. This is a reflection of you. You've taken the time to teach them right from wrong. You've taken the time to instill morals, to instill ethics. Congratulations to each of you for doing the right thing and, and making each of our schools better, making their peers better, making their siblings better, making our community better. And so they're up here. They're not here without you. Um, they're absolutely a reflection of you, and so congratulations as you share in this special day and as you share in this award with each of these students. Um, the last thing that I'll say to the students is I look forward to what each of you are going to do in the future because as you continue to do the right things, as you continue to do exactly what got you here today, you're all going to go very far in life, and I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Congratulations. Thank you, Jerry Olivo with Henderson, Franklin, Starnes, and Holt. Again, big sponsors that do the right thing. Now it's time to honor the students behind me, our winners for March 2024. First up is Jesus Soto. Let's have a round of applause for Jesus Soto. Jesus attends Veterans Park Academy for the Arts. His principal is Ed Carter, and school resource officer is Corporal Mike Milano. And will those with Jesus please come up front and we'll share his story. Jesus is a sixth grader at Veterans Park Academy for the Arts. Assistant Principal Jacqueline Custra writes, A couple weeks ago, Jesus was in the school restroom. When he went into the stall, he observed a vape and immediately notified his teacher. His teacher then directed Jesus to me. I had Corporal Milano assist in retrieving the item. This action demonstrated Jesus' character that he is a young man who will say something when he sees something. Jesus is kind and responsible and possesses high values. Veterans Park is proud to have Jesus as a student and as someone who looks out for the well-being of other students and the school. Jesus, thank you for being a responsible student that does the right thing. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you.
Isley Hayes is next. Let's have a round of applause for Isley Hayes. <laughs> Thanks. Isley attends Lemuel Teal Middle School. Her principal is Dr. Joseph Restino, and school resource officer is Deputy Austin Kanicki. And will those with Isley please come up front? Assistant Principal Barbara Moreland writes, sometimes being the calm in the sea of chaos is the strongest force you can be. Standing up for what's right in the heat of the moment is tricky and difficult for most adults, let alone a sixth grader on the school bus. Isley saw two students get into a heated argument. Her keen observational skills sprang to life when the heated words became threats of physical violence. Isley calmly stood up between the two students and put her arms out to try to keep them separated. As the two students tried to fight, Isley stood like a cliff in the rough storm and remained still as she used her arms to keep the students separated. Standing tall and firmly rooted in her inner sense of calm helped Isley keep a tense situation from becoming more serious. Isley truly embodies the spirit of doing the right thing, even when it can be hard and scary. Thank you, Isley, for keeping your peers safe. We appreciate you being that rock and staying calm to prevent a fight, and the Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Up next is Kylie Schmaus. Let's have a round of applause for Kylie Schmaus. <laughs> Kylie attends Bayshore Elementary. Her principal is Ben Osman and school resource officers, Deputy Kelsey Waldrup. And will those with Kylie please come up front? Kylie is a fourth grader at Bayshore Elementary. Paraprofessional Lady Long writes, I wanted to nominate Kaylee Schmaus for Do the Right Thing. At parent drop-off, a book fair volunteer came in and inadvertently dropped a $5 bill. Kylie found it and picked it up. She came to me and said, Mrs. Lady, I think she dropped this. Kylie went to the office to return the bill, but the volunteer was so moved by Kylie's honesty that she told Kylie to keep the money for doing the right thing. Not only is she honest, but Kylie is also a very sweet and compassionate girl. She is always wanting to help in any way she can and is always the first to volunteer to help if anyone needs it. Kylie, you show that honesty is always the best policy. Thank you. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Jacob Wilson is next. Let's have a round of applause for Jacob Wilson. Jacob attends River Hall Elementary School. His principal is Jody Palakis and school resource officers, Deputy Ed Vandal. And will those with Jacob please come forward?
Jacob is a fifth grader at River Hall Elementary. Assistant Principal Amanda Canada writes, earlier this year, Jacob noticed a group of boys entering the school restroom. He was informed by other students that there was going to be a fight in the restroom. Jacob immediately went to find the nearest staff member and reported the possible fight. Jacob's quick response allowed a staff member to arrive before the fight became physical. We thank Jacob for demonstrating courage and bravery by reporting the suspected fight. Jacob is also an active member of the Lee County Sheriff's Junior Cadet Program and is also on the River Hall Elementary Safety Patrol. Jacob, keep doing what you're doing. You've got a bright future ahead of you. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Janaya Alexandre is next. Let's have a round of applause for Janaya Alexandre. Janaya attends Gateway High School. Her principal is Nikita Watson, and school resource officers are Corporal Garfield Young and Deputy Chris Capitelli. And if those with Janiah would please come up front. Janiah is a junior at Gateway High School. Teacher Brittany Lachetti writes, Janiah helped a classmate during a medical emergency. She is familiar with the classmate's medical condition and is always looking out for her to make sure that she is okay. Recently in class, Janiah noticed that this student was having a silent seizure at her desk as soon as the student put her head down. Janiah swiftly and calmly notified me of the medical emergency across the room. Because of Janiah, I was able to hit my emergency button and get medical help immediately and accurately set the time that the student's seizure started. Janiah was calm and collected the entire time and played a vital role in getting medical staff to the scene as soon as possible. Janiah is a prime example of a student helping and watching out for her classmates. Janiah, we are all proud of you for stepping up to help your classmate. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is proud of you. <laughs> Next up, we're honoring two students together, Grace Renaudin and Gabriella Renaudin. Round of applause for Grace and Gabriella. Grace and Gabriella attend Sunshine Elementary and just happen to be sisters. Their principal is Aaron Brandau and school resource officer is Deputy Rodolphus Hall. And will those with Grace and Gabriella please come up front. Grace and Gabriella are both fourth graders at Sunshine Elementary. Teacher Lori O'Hara and Rihanna Guyette write, Grace and Gabby are wonderful members of our classroom team. They both make our classes better because of their presence. Grace is an incredibly supportive student who is always ready to help her classmates showing responsibility and maturity. She will post encouraging messages in the Google Classroom, cheering on students when they achieve goals, like becoming iReady superstars, and reminding them that they can always try again and do better in the future when they aren't as pleased with their progress. 
If other students have questions, Grace will try to get them answers and help them figure out what they need to do with their classwork. If they have to walk away, if I have to walk away from a small group, I can put Grace in charge and have faith that things will continue to go smoothly even while I'm working with another group of students. Gabby is incredibly hardworking and helpful in the classroom. No matter who the student is, I can pair Gabby with anyone and she will always show respect and support when working with others. Gabby can always be trusted to make sure her group is responsible and on task. She has excelled in her iReady in both math and reading. Our yearly goal is 40 lessons. Gabby has not only met that goal in both subjects, but has doubled and even tripled that goal. Gabby is never content with her learning, always pushing herself to improve. Grace and Gabby, thank you for pushing yourselves to be better students and for the great help that you give to your teachers. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. <laughs> Tasha Diaz is next. Let's have a round of applause again for Tasha Diaz. Tasha attends Mirror Lakes Elementary. Her principal is Amy Boback and School Resource Officer's Deputy Dylan Weisinger. And will those with Tasha please come up front? Tasha is a second grader at Mirror Lakes Elementary. Teacher Kelly Stumpf writes, Tasha is a wonderful young lady and I feel very lucky to have her in my class. I have another student that speaks only Spanish and is very shy. This can make it a challenge to, co to communicate with her. I will never forget the day that Tasha came into the classroom for the first time. She recognized the other student from last year and just started talking to her. It was so nice to see that student smile. From then on, I was able to count on Tasha. She would translate everything for me, and even though I do not speak Spanish, I could tell she was going the extra mile and explaining in more detail what I needed to say. My student and Tasha's friendship has really blossomed this year, and I owe it to all to you, Tasha. Tasha, what a great thing you're doing to translate for your friend. Thank you, the Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Next up, we're honoring two students together, Logan Beasley and Leandro Saria. Let's have a round of applause for Logan and Leandro. Logan and Leandro attend Mirror Lakes Elementary and are both in the second grade. And will those with Logan and Leandro please come up front. Teacher Kelly Stumpf writes, Earlier this year, Logan and Leandro became heroes when they observed a classmate suffering a medical emergency. Leandro rushed over to check on the student. When I looked up at Leandro, I knew I'd be able to count on him. I asked him to go to the next room for help. While Leandro ran for help, Logan jumped in to help as well. He was a comforting friend and would reassure his friend that he was going to be okay. Logan stayed by her side until I needed to clear the room for the medical assistance. 
Leandro and Logan make a great team and certainly helped out immensely when things got a bit scary. As far as their personalities, Leandro is a pretty cool kid who is very curious about everything around him. Logan is new to our school, but has already made his mark as a standout student who takes his days in the classroom seriously. Logan and Leandro, that was some great teamwork. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Ariana Payton is next. Let's have a round of applause for Ariana Payton. Ariana attends Mirror Lakes Elementary where she is in the second grade. And will those with Ariana please come up front so we can share her story. Principal Bobak is getting her exercise in today. Teacher Allison Searcy writes, Ariana is a great role model for her classmates. I can always count on her because she is extremely responsible. When I give directions to the class, Ariana will follow them closely. She will then check her classmates at her group to see if they need help getting to the proper page or finding the correct materials needed. Ariana is able to finish most assignments easily and quickly. If she sees a classmate struggling to complete something, she will ask them if they need help. When Ariana knows she will be absent for an appointment, she will ask me if she can do the work she will be missing the following day so nothing is incomplete. It is such a blessing to have Ariana in my class. Ariana, when a teacher feels blessed to have you in her class, you're doing a lot of things right. Congratulations, the Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Elisa Melendez is next. Let's have a round of applause for Elisa Melendez. She's very excited. Very excited. Elisa is a second grader at Mirror Lakes Elementary. A lot of second graders at Mirror Lakes are uh, star students this month. Will those with Elisa please come up front? Teacher Kelly Stumpf writes, Elisa is the, heart, the newest member of my classroom. I'm always concerned for the new member of the class because we have already established our routines, procedures, and friends. I always want to make sure the new student feels welcomed and has an easy transition. Back in October, I opened the door to this amazing, confident young lady. She was full of smiles and walked in with all the confidence in the world. She spoke to everyone and made a lot of friends that day. But it is not why I feel Elisa deserves this honor. Elisa is everyone's biggest fan. She cheers for her classmates' accomplishments. She roots on friends and classmates that are struggling. She claps for them, she praises them, and she cares for them like I have never seen an eight-year-old do. I am in awe of her maturity. Thank you, Elisa, for being a great role model, not only for your classmates, but for me as well. That's high praise indeed from your teacher. Keep up the great work, Elisa. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. <laughs> Nikos Ware is next. Let's have a round of applause for Nikos Ware. Last one, I promise. <laughs> Oh. 
Nikos attends Mirror Lakes and is in what grade? Second. Second. You guys are paying attention. Will those with Nikos please come up front? <laughs> Next month, right? <laughs> Teacher Allison Searcy writes, Nikos often waits in the hallway outside the front office for his bus to arrive following school dismissal. One day I noticed Nikos was not sitting down with the other students who ride his bus. It turned out he was very concerned about a kindergarten student who was sitting in his area awaiting the bus. Nikos did not think she rode his bus and began to try to find out where the little girl belonged. Nikos found out she was supposed to be riding a different bus and she should have already boarded her bus on the ramp. Thanks to Nikos, the little girl was directed to the correct bus. If it weren't for Nikos, the little girl may have missed her bus, which would have created a lot of headaches for a lot of people. I appreciate his help. Nikos, this shows that you truly care for your fellow students and really save the day here. Thank you. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. <laughs> Valerie Blanco is next. I believe she is not here. We will uh, give her things to her school resource officer so they can have a private ceremony at the school for her. That brings us to Charlie Morales. Let's have a round of applause for Charlie Morales. Charlie attends Manatee Elementary. His principal is Dr. Scott Lee Master and School Resource Officers, Deputy Max Pico. And will those with Charlie please come up front? Charlie is a fifth grader at Manatee Elementary. Teacher Jessica Sievert writes, doing the right thing is not always about saying something you saw. Sometimes it's about changing your mindset. Charlie has been making better decisions when it comes to his behavior and academics. I have seen growth from him last year in the fourth grade to now in the fifth grade. He has always been a great friend to a fellow student who struggles with reading. Charlie never makes fun of him for not being able to read well, but instead gives him time when reading and then helps him with the words that he doesn't know. I am very proud to have Charlie in my class at Manatee Elementary. Charlie, thank you for your patience with your classmate. You're helping him become a better reader and the Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Arabella Estrada is next. Let's have a round of applause for Arabella Estrada. <laughs> Arabella attends Tortuga Preserve Elementary. Her principal is Jennifer Shonak and school resource officer is Deputy Michelle Henson. And will those with Arabella please come up front? Arabella is a first grader at Tortuga Preserve Elementary. Teacher Brittany Lamb writes, 
Arabella is being nominated for showing kindness to a friend when others were not. During lunch one day, a friend in class was trying to sit down with his friends when he was shooed away by them. The student then went to the other end of the table to eat alone. Arabella got up without hesitation and brought her lunch over to sit with him. I am so proud of her thoughtfulness and kindness. I'd like you to know that Arabella is also a hard worker and her perseverance is evident when it comes to her goals. Arabella, you are a wonderful friend and a role model for everyone. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. Up next, we're honoring three students, Braxton Davis, Maya Roses, and Edrit Ray. Let's have a round of applause for Braxton, Maya, and Edrit. Braxton, Maya, and Andrit attend Heights Elementary. Their principal is Doug Palo and School Resource Officers, Deputy Felicia Kropinski. And with those with Braxton, Maya, and Andrit, please come forward. Braxton, Maya, and Adrit are fifth graders and are in fact representing their entire fifth grade class at Heights Elementary. If you take a look at the monitor, since September, our fifth grade students have all been researching a global goal and then choosing a local organization to support that aligns with that global goal. Here are some examples. Students researching zero hunger have partnered with Community Cooperative. Students researching life on land have partnered with the Crow Animal Rehabil Rehabilitation Clinic. Life Below Water partnered with Sanibel Sea School and Quality Education has partnered with the Fort Myers Beach Elementary to get them supplies that they need to reopen after Hurricane Ian. In February, our fifth graders hosted a penny war in which they encouraged all students in our school to bring their loose change from home and drop it in their team's bucket. The team with the heaviest bucket won the challenge. All of the coins at the end of the week were split among the local organizations that we are partnering with. We are so proud of the approximately 150 students that participated, and Braxton, Maya, and Adrit are great ambassadors for what we accomplished. Thanks again to all of our fifth graders who are working so hard to be world changers, both locally and globally. Well done, everyone, and thank you, Braxton, Maya, and Adrit, for being here to represent your class. And our final honoree this month is Abriella Irizari. Let's have a round of applause for Abriella Irizari. Abriella attends Lehigh Middle School. Her principal is Michelle Freeman, and school resource officers are Deputy Michael Marquez and Deputy John Montesino. And will those with Abriella please come up front?
Abriella is a seventh grader at Lehigh Middle. School Resource Officer Deputy John Montecito writes, Abriella was at the store with her mom and four-year-old brother. They were pushing a cart while mom looked at paint cans. In a split second, an unknown male walked up to Abriella's little brother, grabbed him by the wrist, and stated, let's go in Spanish. Abriella saw what was happening and grabbed her younger brother, pulling him away from the suspect. The suspect released his hold, walked out to the parking lot, and drove off with a female companion. Through eyewitness accounts and video surveillance, Lee Sheriff's deputies quickly developed a suspect and arrested him. The suspect was hauled off to jail. According to her mom, Abriella was very courageous that day and acted on instinct. She prevented her little brother from a possible kidnapping, and we are all very thankful for that. Abriella, always trust your instincts as they were spot on that day. Great job. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is very proud of you. And that concludes today's ceremony. I want to thank everyone today for attending live and for watching us on the Lee County School District's YouTube channel. We'll see you all here again next month. Until then, let's give our students one big final standing ovation.